My name is Mike Atherton. I was born and raised in Iowa and moved to Florida uh, back in 2003. And I was raised in a uh, Christian home. Um, grew up going to church most Sundays uh, when I was younger, um, but never really, um, really had a relationship with God at that time. Um, it was just more of going through the motions. I was involved, got involved with a water ski team um, and started doing that when I was about nine years old or so. I then met my wife um, at the age of 13. She joined the team. Um, we started dating at 15 and we've been together ever since. On May 9th, 2009, we had a uh, bunch of family down and we decided to go for a short boat ride. We decided to anchor out at Beer Can Island right out here in Tampa Bay. Um, then all of a sudden, shortly after noon, the boat exploded, uh, launching five out of the six of us that were severely injured into the water, where I ended up losing both legs and my left dominant arm. During the explosion, um, it felt like I was flying through the air for a while. Everything went black. I remember seeing my wife face down thinking what just happened. I remember hearing people talk to me, telling me, you know, everything's gonna be okay, your family's okay, help is on the way. And come to find out later, my wife, uh, her legs were injured severely, and she remembers seeing angels uh, touch her leg. Um, the doctor then was able to save them. Um, my nephew was rescued by his dad, my brother-in-law, and he had asked his dad about a year or so later um, who that other man was with him in the water and his dad said well it was just the two of us that um, you know there was nobody else around and um, my nephew said well that was Jesus he was there you know with us the people out there that were there to help us um, there were people that just got back from um, Iraq and Afghanistan through the military and they had just had bomb training and had just learned how to treat people with injuries uh, like we had. The uh, helicopters that took us from the island to the uh, hospital, um, they had been instructed not to land on the island, uh, but they broke protocol after seeing the military people give the proper hand signals to land the helicopters on the island. A couple of us would have bled out had they not landed the helicopters and gotten us to the hospital as quickly as they did. Through these stories, it started to help me realize that there, there really is a, um, a spiritual life out there. Coming out of the hospital, I thought everything was going to be normal, but quickly realized um, that it wasn't, and so started becoming, started to become frustrated with things, trying to learn how to do things again. Uh, started becoming depressed and just really battling with life and um, really did I even want to go on anymore. My family was very supportive with getting our lives back to as normal as possible and that was a huge thing for me. A lot of tough love, a lot of pushing through the hard times. Did a year of physical therapy after getting out of the hospital, learning how to walk again, making some Good accomplishments, um, not having to rely on wheelchair or a cane anymore. Then about nine months after my accident, I went to the store and a gentleman had approached me and asked if I was in the military and I said no, um, but I explained that I was in a boat explosion and kind of went through my story and he basically said, well, I thought um, my life was over. Next week I'm going to be losing my leg. They're no longer able to fix it and I didn't think I'd be able to go on without my leg, um, but after seeing you here, I know life will go on, I know I can get out and do things, and I know there's um, still more out there for me to do. After meeting that man at the store, my faith really began to grow. The therapist recommended I go to a disabled water ski clinic. Thirteen months after the accident, I was able to get back out on the water um, in this disabled clinic. And it really felt like I got a huge part of my life back. It was a huge um, stepping stone for me um, to be able to do something that I love to do. It was in a different way, on a different type of ski, in a different style, 
but I was able to get back out there, get behind the boat, and enjoy something that I love to do so much. God started to reveal himself to me uh, through a new friend of mine who had invited me to a Bible study. And I really began to realize that God was more than just going to church and showing up every Sunday and going through the motions, but it was really a relationship. I really began to explore um, some churches. I started to look around and see um, what churches were out there. I then found one locally here in Tampa, Oakwood, and decided to go check it out. Looking back on the journey of my whole life, I have become to realize uh, that God really does have a purpose through all this, through my accident, um, through my family, and how he's continuing to use me um, every day uh, for his glory. No matter where you're at in life, no matter what your challenges are, whether you're an amputee or no matter what's going on with you, realize that God has a purpose for you, he has a vision for you, and um, he wants to use you. Let every heart break, and every scar be a picture that reminds you who has carried you this far. Everything for your good Tell your heart to beat again Close your eyes and breathe it in Let the shadows fall away Step into the light of grace Yes,